Update 9 for Elite Dangerous released last week, giving access to a brand new SRV after a very long wait, as well as a somewhat sneaky look as fleet carry interiors. And yet, yeah, that was a bit of a leak, shall we say, unexpected. Now, as to be expected, the update did of course come with a number of bugs, and as usual, the Frontier have been fairly quick to get some of these at least fixed with a follow-up hotfix. Although unfortunately, not all the issues have been fixed, so let's take a quick look at what's happened with patch 9.0.1. It seems then that the main focus for this particular hotfix is to get repaired the stability and crash issues that were affecting numerous people. And you can see those on the screen right here. I'm not going to read them out one by one. I don't think you need me to do that. Uh, the fixes are for both the Odyssey client and the Horizons client, respectively. Now, beyond all this, there were numerous other gameplay issues that were introduced with the recent patches. One in particular was the uh, Scorpion SRV not being able to be restocked of ammo after it was destroyed. This has been fixed with the uh, latest hotfix. However, there are a number of other known issues that haven't been fixed. And I'll put these on screen but also read these out as well. And some of these are actually pretty significant and quite problematic for many people. First on the list then is hostile ships not being correctly marked on the radar. So this is where the hostile ships attack you. That may be a PVE, I would assume, but possibly a PVP as well. And those ships will turn red on the radar. So as they're not doing that, it's a pretty significant problem for combat to say the least. It makes it quite difficult to identify which ships are targeting you and which are hostile, friend or foe. Moving on, there's some um, decreased NPC... Decreased? Oh, deceased, that makes more sense. Some deceased NPCs cannot be scanned or analysed. So this would be uh, Odyssey content when you're down in settlements and other such places. Uh, the inability to scan these uh, dead NPCs would be quite problematic for collecting bounties and other issues as well. Over at Guardian sites, you can see a floating Guardian materials. That's probably not too problematic, although it may be make it a little bit difficult to pick them up in your SRV. The on-foot tutorial, meanwhile, for Odyssey is not complete in. Multi-Limpet controllers. These are the new Olympic controllers introduced, have more mass than commanders expected. And that's very interesting word in there, more mass than commanders expected. And these are very, very heavy indeed. So did Frontier intend to give them the current weight? and therefore it's uh, more than commanders expected, or is it a bug and therefore unintended? Either way, it's something that does need to be addressed. And finally, the Scorpion SRV is affected by texture issues around the chassis. So that one is a relatively minor issue, all things considered, it's certainly not gonna break your gameplay. However, there is another issue that will break your gameplay. It depends on how you play the game. This, for whatever reason, isn't listed in the known issues. This again is Odyssey content and it is to do with the biological scanning. So when you're down on the planetary surfaces and scanning all the various flora, this isn't working. Now Frontier say they don't have any news on this particular issue, but that they are aware of it. So they're aware of it, but haven't put it on the known issues list, strange. Now the next question and a very obvious and completely reasonable question is when will all of these get fixed? So as of yesterday, 4.30 GMT, at Frontier was still uncertain whether there would be a 9.02 hotfix patch. However, it seems today things are a little bit clearer at Frontier, as they say they are working on another hotfix, although they don't have a date for when that will release, or they don't have any information on what that hotfix will actually contain. The only information that they had a little bit of certainty on was that the hotfix should arrive before Christmas. Obviously then, this is pretty good news because these are significant issues. Players want to be able to identify hostile ships, they want to be able to do their biological scanning, and they of course want to scan any NPCs they've killed when on foot in Odyssey. So, based on what Frontier is saying here, some of this may get fixed with the hotfix, and some of it may not. Also going on what they said previously on the forums, anything that doesn't get fixed in a hotfix will probably have to wait for update 10. And obviously that would be next year, so quite a wait for that one. So for now then, just a case of waiting and seeing what Frontier have to say. Will they fix it before Christmas or won't they? At any rate, that pretty much brings us towards the end of this video. Just a quick mention about the uh, new Scorpion SRV. It's been a lot of fun, actually. I very much do enjoy driving it. It seems to be a much better ride than the uh, Scarab, at least uh, that's my personal preference. 
As to how it performs in combat, well, I can't say too much on that particular aspect, as it's very unlikely I'll ever be taking the Scorpion into combat. I much prefer to go into combat on foot uh, with handheld weapons. That said, I'd really love to know which of the SRVs you prefer, at least those of you who have access to it, of course. Do you prefer the Scorpion SRV or the Scarab SRV? Do let me know in the comments section below. I'm also going to put up a poll on my YouTube uh, community section. You can also find that linked in the video description. So do head on over there and give it a vote. We can see uh, which is the favourable one at the moment. And yes, sorry, I know not all of you have got access to it or the ability to access it, especially uh, those of you on consoles. And we're still uh, waiting on the much desired news on that particular thing. When is Odyssey going to arrive on consoles? Come on, Frontier. We need a bit of an update there, don't we? At any rate, that brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.